Welcome back to my channel. So this video is about fashion trends that you can DIY. I'm super excited to share this video with you guys. I have been planning this video for so, so, so long and I finally got around to making it. And do you like my shirt? Because I made it in this video and to be honest, I've been wearing this shirt for way too long. I just, it's just too cute. I can't stop wearing it. But yeah, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the DIY fam. Enough rambling on, let's just go ahead and get started. To make the cutoff jeans, you're gonna need to wear them on and mark where you want them to be cut off. Now go ahead and take your scissors and try your best to make a straight cut. To make sure that the two sides are even, use the part that you cut off to measure out and draw a line on the other leg. Now go ahead and cut that side off. Then fold your jeans together and cut off any excess parts that are sticking out. To distress your jeans, open up your scissors and use one side of the scissors to really dig into the cut of your jeans. Just like what I'm doing here. You can also make small cuts into the jeans. Go ahead and do this to both sides until you get your desired look. To make the graphic lace-up tee, you're going to need a graphic t-shirt. I'm going to take my ruler and draw a really, really, really deep v-neck starting from the side of my collar. To be safe, you can also wear the shirt on and mark where you want the v-neck to end, but right now, I'm just going to eyeball this. Once you have that drawn out, you're going to make a small cut with your scissors right at the edge of the collar. Now go ahead and cut along the collar line. And once you've completely reached the other side of the collar, you can go ahead and cut out the v-neck that you drew. Next, go ahead and place a piece of paper into the shirt. And this is just to protect the hot glue from sticking the shirt together. Now go ahead and lay out your eyelet piece just to have an idea of where you want it to be glued down. I got this piece from Etsy and I will link it in the description bar for you guys. But once you have an idea of where you want it to be glued, start adding a small strip of hot glue right at the corner of the cut. Firmly press your eyelet piece right on top of the glue. Once that is secure, go ahead and work in small sections to glue the entire piece down. As you go, make sure that the holes are visible and aren't covered by any fabric or glue. You can cut off any excess fabric that is in your way. Once you've reached the bottom part of the V, make sure that you add a dot of glue to the part that is being overlapped, just to really secure that part in. Also try to make your holes on both sides line up with each other so that they're even. Once you're done gluing the entire strip down, take out the piece of paper. Now you're just going to need some black string to lace up your shirt. And I'm using about 60 inches of a black cord that I bought at Michael's. And I'm going to go ahead and lace this up as if I'm lacing my shoes. Once you're done, just make knots at the ends just to prevent the lace from coming apart. And that's basically it. To make the bleach cap, you're going to need to lay out some plastic to protect your workspace. I filled a small spraying bottle with some bleach. And before you start, just make sure you're protecting your hands with some gloves. I'm going to go ahead and start spraying this all over my denim cap. If you want some areas to be more bleached, make sure that you really concentrate and spray in that area only. If you don't concentrate in areas and just spray all over, then your hat is just going to turn out looking really faded. Since I want the hat to have some bleach splatter on there, I'm going to take the cap off and just let the bleach drip onto the hat. Oh yeah, and don't forget to do the bow part of the hat as well. I'm going to stuff some paper into the hat just so that it doesn't lose its shape. And you're just going to need to let it sit and dry. And I think it turns out better if you do dry it in the sun, so that's a tip. But before you start wearing it, make sure you give it a good rinse. Grab on my waist and put that body on me. I'm coming now, follow my lead. I'm coming now, follow my lead. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. If you liked and enjoyed this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. If you want to see more fashion trends that you can DIY, let me know because I have some other ones in my mind that I kind of want to try out. But if you want to see more videos like these or if you have any other suggestions 
that you want to see, let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye!